Tried to attempt to take her over, but no going. One more time, couldn't do the trick. Now Wrecking Ball just throwing Jennifer Flores into the turnbuckle. Nobody there when Wrecking Ball would follow through. That's because Flores is so smart. Look at her taking down Wrecking Ball by snapping that left leg out from under and now driving those two feet into Wrecking Ball's face. Going for an early pin, that isn't gonna work this early. Gotta respect the effort by Jennifer Flores. Snapping the arm of Wrecking Ball, keeping her down on the mat, but Wrecking Ball just powers up like nobody's business. Steffi Slays makes the tag. Now this is where they've got to take advantage. The two of them teaming, taking advantage of those tags. To team up, little combo package before Florence goes out, and they've got to take advantage through their speed. The speed and agility of Jennifer Flores and Steffi Slays is the only way they're gonna win this match because right there demonstrates the power of Wrecking Ball just lifting Steffi straight up. Oh my. Wrecking Ball just powering her down with an inverted pile driver sends Steffi Slays neck first into the mat, one of the most dangerous maneuvers in all of professional wrestling. Well, fortunately, fans, Steffi's neck was bent inward, her chin on her on her chest, if you will. Otherwise, that was gonna snap the neck of Steffi Slays. It's like I was talking about earlier. I remember when Steffi Slays was a rookie, but now look at that veteran maneuvering to make sure she didn't take all of the impact of that inverted pile driver. Rena Del Rey is yet to come in, and as I say it, there's the tag. Rena Del Rey from Long Beach, California, the LBC. Oh, she just takes Jennifer Flores right out of the match, but Flores rolls back in. Flores can't get to her though. Eddie Furk keeping her on the outside. Did you see that? Oh, that's just unsanitary. A fish hook with a dirty little finger. There's one thing I don't like, and that's dirty fingernails. And who knows where Rena 
Jeff Del Rey's band. Referee Eddie first should have just stopped the match at that point. That's, that's got to be an issue with the World Health Organization. Raina Del Rey has Steffi Slays in the electric chair, drops her turnbuckle first. I don't even think she hit the turnbuckle. I think she hit that, that middle area behind the turnbuckle. Which it has a slight pad on it, but that's pure steel in there. Underneath that pad that connects the ropes to the outside of the ring to give it that torque, if you will. And that is solid steel that Steffi hit underneath that padding. She just went jaw first. Steffi Slay's trying to fight back. Elbows to the midsection, but Wrecking Ball isn't phased. David, you brought up a great point earlier. Steffi Slay's and Jennifer Flores. Oh, DDT fighting out of it, going in for the tag. She was able to get momentum and turn that around and get the tag with Jennifer Flores. Gen Z in the ring, giving it to Rena Del Rey. Ducking, ducking. Jawbreaker. Rena Del Rey sent reeling into the corner. Jennifer Flores, like a house of fire. Oh. But the house of fire meant a house of stone. That's true, like a gnat. Raina Del Rey swatting away Jennifer Flores. Now Raina's fired up. Pushing that chin back, and there's a slap against the chest. Raina Del Rey getting Jennifer Flores in the electric chair. Going for that maneuver again, the maneuver she calls closing time. She's about to close Jennifer Flores. Driving her some 12 feet right into the face first of the purple mat. And there Steffi's taken out. Rena Del Rey took her out. Recky Ball coming in to pick up the scraps. This variation of the heart attack they call the pickup line. Two, three. Wow. That's all she wrote. Rena Del Rey. Yeah. Sisters had such a following. They did. And it would only be natural 
that you're seeking some more sisterhood, if you will. Sisterhood is still here, it's still there, but I, you know, when you're in a true sisterhood, your sisters support you, and that's why I'm on this journey by myself right now. Oh my, what a statement. Rebel Hayes in the feeling out process here with Holiday. Holiday has been in the ring with such a vast, diverse group of competitors, Fury included in that. And Holiday, really, I don't think she has any strangers in the ring. She can adapt so well to everybody's in ring style. Rebel Hayes, beautiful arm drag. Holiday pops right back up. That's what I'm talking about. Easily adaptable. Rebel Hayes, elbow drop, taking Holiday down further. Going one, two, kick out. Referee Paige Prinzabali signaling it was just a two count. Very impressed with Rebel Hayes so far. How could you not be? In her debut, she's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the most intimidating characters here in WoW. I know that intimidation very well, Stephen Dickey. I remember seeing you and the Heavy Metal Sisters walk into a room full of Ouija and, and candles and dealing with Holiday, and I couldn't imagine feeling that kind of fear. Well, right now, Rebel Hayes is fearing Holiday because she is jamming away on her. Her debut in WoW going so well for the rock star that's amped up this crowd. Holiday showing why she is dominant force in professional wrestling. Follow through on that clothesline, beautiful maneuver. Rebel Hayes reeling in that turnbuckle. Another clothesline. Holiday from Cleveland, Ohio. I know she's from the dark side, but she lives there now. One might say Cleveland is the dark side of America. Cleveland's definitely the dark side. That's why LeBron left so many Oh, come on. And look at her go to town on Rebel Hayes. Listen, it can turn around at any moment. I have faith in this, this Rebel. Well, you've seen Holiday firsthand, as we've discussed many times. You know what it takes to defeat Holiday. It takes fire. It takes rock and roll, baby. Are you seeing that kind of fire out of Rebel Hayes right now? The kicks are definitely doing it. Yes, I am. I love it. Elbow drop by Hayes. Hayes taken off from that pin with a right hook right to the jaw from Holiday. Kick out by Holiday. Rebel Hayes still in this match, respecting the effort of this newcomer. Taking Holiday. No, oh, went for a suplex, but Holiday not, not going off of a vertical base. Not right now, at least. Big, incredible power Holiday, and there's that leg drop. Off and see, off the turnbuckle side, right on the edge of the ring. Now into that choke maneuver. Rebel Hayes in a bad way here in the center of the ring with no reprieve. Referee Paige Prinzavalli signaling that the newcomer has not quit yet. She's not giving up. You respect this kind of fight, this kind of fire, this kind of determination. Can she fight out of it? There's a good camera shot from our truck. Close up, seeing Holiday with that choke. Is it a choke, Stephen? Fury, what do you think? That way is more of a headlock to me. Yeah. Ooh, nobody home as Holiday rushes. Rebel Hayes, and there she gets in a clothesline. There she goes. That's the opening she was looking for. Short arm clothesline taking Holiday down. Get the sling blade. Get the crowd back in this one. So close, so close. Rebel Hayes, she's showing the bigger she needs. She could do it, she could win her wow debut here. Holiday is off of her feet. We said it takes so much to get her off of her feet, but she's done it. Kick, Holiday sends her face first into the canvas. Holiday just hoisting her up, double underhook. And handling her. She's got her up.
Francis, representing the Brat Pack, BK Rhythm and Gigi Gianni. We saw BK Rhythm and Gigi Gianni, the Brat Pack, go into the locker room of Ariel Sky and Coach Campanelli teasing them about their missing partner, Randy Rara. Now Randy Rara, not here, but Ariel Sky and Coach Campanelli aren't gonna let that insult sit lightly. No, they're not. And we all know how dominating Coach Campanelli's personality is. Can Ariel Sky, when you saw me interview her for the first time, was so, so timid, but so thrilled to be in WOW. Can she handle this dominating personality of Coach Campanelli? Look, I thought Coach had her hands full with Randy Rara. I think Ariel Sky is even more of a handful than Randy Rara. Coach has her work cut out for her. She's gonna be And the their opponents from San Francisco, California, and Roseland, New Jersey, representing Team Spirit, Coach Campanelli and Ariel Sky. Coach Campanelli's probably gonna have to tap into that little domineering personality she showed in the early career here in WOW. Surprise! You're right. Oh, Coach, Ariel left you all alone. What kind of teamwork is answering the phone? Oh. Now, Team Spirit, you're in the hot seat. You're about to get beat by two real athletes. The Brad Pack. Did she just add a, a syllable to athlete? She might have. She's got her own dictionary when she's rapping. I don't think any dictionary has the word athlete spelled like that. That's just me. Ben Scheinberg trying to get the action, and he says, ring the bell. BK Rhythm and Coach Campanelli starting it. Let's not forget what started all of this. Not too long ago, BK Rhythm had a singles match against Coach Campanelli, in which after the match, GG and BK Rhythm put the boots to Coach while Ariel Sky was on the phone. Gigi boots right there to Ariel Sky. Ariel Sky won't be having any telephone calls coming to her at ringside anymore, I bet you that. No, she's gonna have her phone privileges taken away, I'm sure. Ariel Sky showing pure athleticism here. Ooh, nice punch. Forearm right to the chest of Gigi Gianni. Gigi now taking the boots to the chest. Ariel Sky into the cover, kick out by Gigi Gianni. David, she's flipping so much in that ring, I I'm getting vertigo over here at the table. She was always a cheer person as a little kid. Even at seven and eight, she was taken to cheer camp by her mom and dad. She's gotten so much PR of late, calling into the WOW publicity office, Paramount. I'm telling you, they love Ariel Sky. Well, who doesn't love Ariel Sky? She's just a dynamo in the ring. Gigi Gianni going for the cover here. One, two, kick out. Gigi Gianni, she's shown a bit of a mean streak here ever since she's become part of the Brat Pack with BK Rhythm. I think BK Rhythm is the leader of it, of course. She's put the two of them together. She's told them that winning can be something you'll enjoy and you'll love, Gigi. And let's not forget, Gigi was with Adriana Gambino many, many months ago. And I wonder how that friendship's going. I haven't seen the two of them in the locker room together once yet. Uh, I believe the word you're looking for is frenemies. I think that's where they're at right now. Adriana, Gambino, and Gigi are frenemies. Ariel Sky dropped from the sky. And there's a nice elbow smash by BK Rhythm. BK Rhythm is a solid professional wrestler. She joined myself and my partner, Jeannie Buss, Dan Cohen, from Paramount Television, all of us in Las Vegas, when we announced the big launch and reboot of WOW Women of Wrestling. And BK is still here in WOW. Doing a great job. And right now she's pulling Ariel Sky away from Coach Campanelli, not allowing her to get that needed tag. Elbow drop on Ariel Sky. BK Rhythm in firm control of this match. And of course, we're watching great tag team action right now. Let's not forget the main event tonight. Tag team titles on the line. Tonga Twins, Sweet Heat, the rematch everybody's been waiting for. That's coming up after this match, fans. 
you won't want to go anywhere. GG tagged in. Nice smash right there, but Ariel Skies, did she catch her right on the jaw? That one caught her in the throat, I think. Ariel Sky is just getting pummeled pillar to post here. She needs to tag in Coach Campanelli in the worst way. Coach on the outside, begging to be let into this match, and Gigi just remaining in firm control of this match. She just pummels Ariel Sky with those boots. Gigi Gianni getting Ariel on the second rope there with a choke, and BK Rhythm taking a moment to posture and flex for the fans. You mentioned BK Rhythm is an amazing professional wrestler, Dave, and I don't take anything away from him, but that brash hubris, that arrogance, it's just something I don't like to see from somebody like BK Rhythm. She has all the physical tools to be an excellent, amazing champion in this business, but her attitude is probably going to be the thing that stands in her way the most. It stands in a lot of people's way. They can't get out of their own way. Straight jacket into that backbreaker. Ooh, that looked vicious. Ariel Sky needs to make a tag. I know I keep saying it, but that's the only way that Coach and Ariel Sky have a hope of winning this match right now. Ariel needs to tag in the coach. Just vicious in that ring. She's always been a fashionista, but now she's just pure vengeance and fury inside that ring. That attitude, that arrogance of BK Rhythm we were talking about, rubbing off on Gigi Gianni as if she needed more attitude. Ariel Sky. She doesn't want anything to do with Gigi Gianni as Gigi picks her up into the fireman's carry. Taking her over to the corner, BK makes the tag. Gigi swinging her around into a sidewalk slam. BK rhythm, what's BK got in mind? Leg drop across the throat into the cover. Kick out. We had victory on the mind. Ariel Sky has been taking some serious punishment here, Steve. BK rhythm staying on the offensive. Wisest decision you could make right now. Don't let up on the gas. Don't take your foot off the pedal. Ariel Sky, how did she do it? Flipping, literally a flipping neck breaker. Literally a flipping neck breaker. And she's got to make her way to the corner. This could be the opening she needed. She's got to get Coach in. She's got to tag Coach. She to the leg. Step up in Sagiri. Gigi is down and reeling. Close line. Nicely done. Beautiful follow through. Coach snap there. Ariel Sky coming in. What's this? She just tossed Ariel Sky on top of Gigi. And BK comes in and breaks up a possible pin. Coach teasing BK. She fell for it and over the top rope she goes. Low bridge to BK to the outside. But BK right up and pulls the Gigi Gianni's got Ariel Sky up in the ring. She's got her sailing, if you will. Running power slam, shades of Dr. Death, Steve Williams into the cover. One, two, and a three. Here are your winners, Gigi Gianni and BK Rhythm, the Brad Pack. The Brad Pack, the winners. As Miami Sweet Heat makes their way to the ring, I'm reminded of that video package we saw. It was just so sweet, David. We got to relive the fantastic moment when the Tonga Twins defeated Lori and Lindsay for those World Tag Team Championship and that epic Falls Count Anywhere match. Then, of course, we got to see the Malfeasance they got up to when they interfered and attacked the Tonga Twins after their title defense against Las Banditas two weeks ago. Well, crazy times, and it gets them into the main event, and the fabulous Lana Star believes she's going to get a championship title wrapped up and placed back on her mantle. Of course, Princess Aussie is now the singles champion. Lana doesn't have any gold or silver at her house. Introducing first, accompanied by the fabulous Lana Star from the magic city of Miami Beach, the former WOW Tag Team Champions, Miami Sweet Heat!
And that sounds so sweet to my ears to hear them referred to as former tag team champions. Well, I know somebody that that's music to their ears, and it's the current champions right there. Kona and Chaos, the tag team champions. Lana has no championships adorning her mantle any longer. You're right, Steven. And we all know that the fabulous Lana star wrecked havoc on Princess Aussie's celebration when she won the championship over Penelope Pink. And Lana stealing that championship belt from us here at ringside, hoping she could grab a few more minutes with it on her mantle at home. But I successfully secured that championship belt. Here they are, the Tonga Twins. and what an epic match this is going to be. The rematch that the Carlson Twins wanted, fans. The referee, Jeff McGowan, holding the belts high that they, the Carlsons, won. And here we go. Lindsey Carlson starting the match off with Chaos. Joining us unexpectedly again is the fabulous Lana Starr. What did you do to get me to be here tonight. I don't even want to see the list of demands that you had, Lana, to be here at the table. I think you must I have said something really nice. I still have so really many nice. questions for you, Lana Starr. I've got so many questions. Thank you for giving me that championship belt back. I said it was a, a nudge and a pull, and I'm glad you relinquished it. And I see that you're here hoping to get a little silver on your man. You know what? Possession is three quarters of the law. Well, then I got the championship and the Tongas have it, and you don't. But you did steal it from me. I did not. You relinquished it nice. Thank you. Lana, I do have a question. How does your face feel after Sophia slapped you? You're bringing that up? It's just a journalistic question, of course. We've got so many questions for you, I don't... including what what was all that about you and Sophia? Why'd you get so angry with her and toss that coffee on her? We've got questions for the fabulous Lana Star, but we've got to get back into the ring. Yeah, I wasn't expecting all of this. Exactly. We've got to get a sit down with you when the match isn't going on. Larry Carlson is in there with, I can't see the boot laces, it's Kona. Kona in there with Lori Carlson. These two teams know each other better than anybody. They have had battles, wars with each other. That falls count anywhere match where the Tonga Twins finally won the tag team titles. It was the culmination of such an intense rivalry. And now Lori and Lindsey Carlson being the former champions and titles in their rematch, and that's what they're getting here tonight. Kona and Chaos. What great representatives of Tonga and great representatives of WOW as the tag team champions. No doubt. Lovely Lori is taking it. She's gonna need some Advil tonight. Ooh. Lana, I'm sure when you see the Tonga twins, you're glad you're not still in the ring wrestling. You never know, David. I could take on Tiki like you do nothing. Oh, let's pick on the smallest opponent in WOW, Tiki tomorrow. How nice of you. The fabulous four in the Island Dynasty have gone to war many a times, as I stated. That's true. She picked on TV. She might have to still deal with the Tongas. Nice maneuvering by the former tag team champions. Lindsay going for a pin there. Lindsay and Lori are ready to regain their belts. We'll see. Kona with the headbutt to the midsection of Lindsay Carlson. Chaos coming in. Went for a forearm. Lindsay hits the double knees to the face. Lori with the end of Gary. Chaos in trouble. Chaos now down. Possible pin by Lindsay. No. Low count. I don't pay the Carlsons many compliments, but I'm impressed. They keep adding to their repertoire and their arsenal inside that ring. It makes them almost impossible to scout, even for a team like the Tonga Twins that know them so well. Well, I know we've got a lot of great tag teams in WOW. In fact, I'd say the best tag team division in all of professional wrestling for the ladies division is right here in WOW. It's hard to argue with that, David. And the greatest tag team is Miami Sweetie. They don't have the belts, though. Uh, it's hard to sell them as the best tag team when they don't have any belts. 
The title is with the Tonga Twins, most powerful dominant force in women's professional wrestling. We've got Wrecking Ball, we've got Rena Del Rey, we've got Jennifer Flores and Steffi Slade. The Brat Pack, Coach Campanelli and Ariel Sky. This is where the best tag team action in the world resides in WOW Women Are Wrestling. And Lori saying, give me the strap, put it around. We're ready for the championship tonight. And right now, Chaos is in trouble. She's in the wrong corner, baby. Lori and Lindsay making those fresh tags, staying fresh there. Elevated clothesline as Lindsay Carlson used her sister as a platform. And look at them posing and pausing. Giving Chaos plenty of time to recover. Jeff McGowan almost got caught in the action. He made sure Conan was staying out of the action. Kick out by Chaos. That was two and nine tenths. Just as when we had Sophia here with you, Lana, when you both were at the table, I noticed you're not as give as you used to be. You're watching this with intensity. No, I just, they put in a lot of work. They want those belts back, and I'm really impressed with how they're handling this match so far. They've got a cover. That could have been a three count. Whoa. McGowan was over there with lovely Lori, and Lindsay could have had a three count. Are you paying that ref off, David? No, I'm not. Technically, you're, you're paying. Do you pay him at all? Do you pay him at all, David? I'm paying a nice wage. Fair wage. Kona, Kona trying to get her sister fired up. Chaos needs to make the tag. Lindsay needs to make the tag. The luscious one's got to make the tag. There's her twin sister coming in. Kona taking Lori down. Kona jamming away. Kona the dominant one. Lori down on one knee. Savant kick sends her to the ropes. Here comes Chaos. Spear to Lori. Double spear. But Lori's not the legal competitor. Lindsay made the tag. The referee saw it, but the Tonga twins did not. Lindsay in there with Kona as they're trading blows. Ooh, takes Lindsay back. Modified STO maneuver, taking down Lindsay Carlson. And Lindsay's right back up. Kona, strike to the chest, taking Lindsay down, elbow drop. Kona's going up. We don't see them go up to the ropes too often. I don't believe I've ever seen them going up to the second or the third rope. And here she comes! Oh, but look at that, Lindsay Carlson trapping her in the body scissors, going for a guillotine choke, expert submission, expertly applied. I'm at a loss for words. Lindsay quickly maneuvered her body and then opened up those legs and wrapped them around, and she's got potentially a chokehold on Kona. Lindsay's not only beautiful, but she's also smart. And that was a very intelligent maneuver. We talked about not seeing the Tonga Twins go to the second rope. We don't see Lindsay and Lori applying submissions like that every day. 